Hi there. On this video for Premiere Productions, we're going to be talking about that message you might be seeing called duplicate IDs and exactly what that means and how to fix it if you do run into it or whether you need to fix it. Um, in some cases, it you might actually not have to even worry about it. But uh, in those cases where you do, we're going to cover all the basics of it. So. What uh, this message is, what I'm referring to, if you look down in Premiere, you might see that there's a red uh, exclamation point kind of showcased way down in the lower right corner. And if I click on that, it's going to bring up the events panel and you'll see that there's a message here called duplicate IDs. Now, when I double click on this, it's going to give me some information here and we'll cover what that is in just a second. But what is actually going on under the hood? Just like when you go to a website and you type in, you know, www.adobe.com, computers don't really speak words like that. They speak numbers for the most part. And so for every URL like that, there's a number under the hood of actually where you're going to. Um, same thing is kind of true about productions. Even though every project within your production might have a, a name like music or day one or something like that, under the hood, Premiere is assigning a unique identifying number to each of these different items. And that's what makes it possible to just go in. If I want to change day one to say day 1A or day two, it's not going to break any links within the, uh, the production. So you'll still be able to reveal clips in project. Um, on rare occasions, we can run into some situations where two projects within the production have the same number. It's kind of like having the same street address. You know, which which one am I delivering a package to? I you know, if they if they're both the same, uh, that can create some challenges. Um, so whenever we see duplicate IDs show up in the production, um, that little red exclamation point is going to show up in the lower, lower right of your copy of Premiere. And when you click on it, it'll show that there's a duplicate ID event going on. Um, in some cases, this is fine. Um, it really depends. If the duplicate IDs are coming from projects that just contain sequences, it's never really going to cause much of a problem within your production. Um, you know, you're not referencing when you hit reveal in project, you're typically doing that to clips on a sequence. Where this can become a problem is if your media projects, if the day one project, for example, has the same ID as the day two project, Premiere is going to get confused. It's like, well, wait a minute, does this clip live in day one or does it live in day two? Um, so in those circumstances, you might need to do a little bit of, of housekeeping to correct for this. Now, um, you'll notice in this error message that comes up on the screen here, it's actually listing off the name of a text file um, that lives inside the production folder. This text file is your key to figuring out what is causing this duplicate ID message and what do I have to fix to correct for this. So if I go to my finder, you'll see that I've got the production folder is actually open right now. And you'll notice that there is a text file here called duplicate projects list. And when I double click on that, it's telling me that a couple of the projects in these locations currently have duplicate IDs. The way to fix this is, and this is one of those rare cases where on the operating system level, I'm actually going to make some changes to the production folder. Again, normally we tell you, let Premiere sort of manage this, make your changes through the production panel inside of Premiere. This is one of those cases where we're actually going to move some stuff out of the production folder um, onto the desktop. And then we're going to use that add project to production to bring them back into the production. So the way this would work is, Basically, look at the uh, this text file and you'll see some pathways here. This is currently showing that in my uh, folder called 100 Demos and Explanations in the 2022 NAB uh, folder, there is a project called HDR Demo that has a duplicate ID uh, with a different project, something called scene edit detection. OK, so we need to correct for that. So what I'm going to do is, again, on the Finder level, I'm going to go into that Demos and Explanations, and I'm going to go into the 2022 NAB folder, and I'm going to find these two projects, or maybe since it's just two sharing an ID number, 
I can just pull one of these out. I'll take the HDR demo project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to my desktop. So I'll just grab it and I'm going to hold down the command key here to move it to my local desktop. So I'm actually moving it out of the uh, production folder and I'm moving it onto the desktop. Now to bring that back in and not have a duplicate ID, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into my demos and explanations folder within the production panel. I'll highlight this 2022 folder for NAB and I'll say add project to production and I'm going to add this HDR demo back into my production. Now by doing this, um, Premiere will assign this project a different unique identifier and that will take care of that duplicate ID uh, problem that we had in the past. So if you ever run into this, first off, if you look at your list and you say, well, wait, those are all editors projects. They're all, they all just contain sequences. My media is safe. It's all organized in separate projects. Yeah, you can live with that, that message. It's not as severe as you might think. But when you start seeing situations where your projects that contain clips have this duplicate IDs, use this setup here to actually move stuff out of the production folder um, and then import it back in using that add project to production command. That'll reassign it a new identifier number. It'll now be a unique item within the production. You won't get that duplicate ID message moving forward. Hopefully that was helpful. Please like and subscribe. This is just one video in a whole series of videos where we dive deep into Premiere Productions, um, both how to use them as well as troubleshooting common issues like what we talked about today. Thanks so much for watching.